so obviously an SEC championship like this where the defense of Georgia gets so much attention, the offense of LSU, are you as excited for that matchup as it seems like every other media member fan would seem to be? Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes you don't have to try to dig past what's obvious. And when you have an offense that's been as prolific as LSU's, and no one has stopped it. I mean, Auburn held them to 23 points. They were fortunate to do so. They still put 500-plus yards on them. You know, so nobody has slowed them down. To me, this is easily the most complete defense that uh, LSU has faced. But the flip side of it is that Georgia, I've seen some good offenses, but not like this. So it'll be, that's, that's the thing you'll look for, I think. And obviously no one knows what's going to happen in the game, but there's obviously concern among some Georgia fans that, will the dogs score enough points to keep up with LSU? How legitimate of a concern is that in your mind? Big time. Because, I mean, think about it. The way football is played these days, let's say the Georgia defense has a great day. You know, not another worldly, but just a great day. What does that mean? Three touchdowns and two field goals they give up, so that's 27 points. So that means the dogs have to score 28 to 30, right? You're in that neighborhood. So I think that's a legitimate concern. I don't, I, I don't envision a scenario, you know, absent Joe Burrow somehow throwing six interceptions or something, that they hold LSU to 14 points. It's not going to happen. You know, so I think that is a legit concern and one of the one of the bigger questions of the game. Now, the one thing I will say is that while LSU's defense probably isn't as um, I won't say bad, but isn't as mediocre as advertised, they do some things well. They get off the field with stop rate, not letting teams score. Their three and out percentage is not bad. Um, but the one place where I think even Coach O would tell you that they need to get better is on the defensive front. Mm -hmm. So that means that LSU, I mean, rather Georgia might be able to run the ball on them. And if they do, that shortens the game, changes the dynamic a little bit. So uh, I, I don't think Georgia should go in saying, hey, we're going to try to control the ball and shorten the game. But if they can do so naturally within the context of just doing what they do, uh, I think that would bode well for the dogs. Is LSU are in the playoff? I think so. In fact, I think the top three are already in the playoff. I understand about Clemson's schedule and uh, Dabo's protest notwithstanding. I can't, in, I can't envision a scenario in which any of those top three teams lose and they're still not one of the best four. Of course they are. So I think everybody's fighting for one spot. If Georgia wins, Georgia will have that spot. If Georgia loses, then uh, all of the other things you know, come into play.